Finally, victories over the Nazis in the Battle of Britain relied, of course, on the bravery and skill of RAF Spitfire pilots, but also on those who built the iconic fighter planes. 100-year-old Megan Langdell was a welder in the Spitfire factory in Birmingham during the war. It has long been a dream of hers to see again one of the planes she helped to build. Well, today, she did at the Aviation Museum in Dumfries. This is it. <laughs> it is rare now to find one of the Spitfire planes that fought in the Battle of Britain. It's rarer still to find someone like Megan, who helped build them all those years ago. <laughs> Oh, I love this. That's it. And this is what that <laughs> reunion means. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely. That's my boy. <laughs> Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. Megan is one of those few to whom Sir Winston Churchill gave thanks. She welded these exhausts on, then watched her labour of love inflict the first major defeat of Hitler's military in the Second World War, saving this country from Nazi invasion. When they were fighting, I was watching. I used to watch the fights, you know. The... I didn't like it when they got shot down. The Spitfire Megan came to sea crashed just a year after the Battle of Britain during a training operation over Loch Doon. The search for the wreckage finally came to an end in 1982 when a team of divers found it, then mechanics spent the next 40 years restoring it. Today, Megan got to meet the team that brought her treasured Spitfire back. So you were the one that this plane came back from the sea? Yes, I was a diver. You was a diver? Yeah. <laughs> and we brought it back to life. God bless you. Megan started welding the Spitfires when she was just a teenager, but she hasn't seen one since the war ended. When she turned 100 earlier this year, her only birthday wish was to come here for this moment. I loved it. Till the day I die, I shall love it. Seeing it in all its glory, you bet. You know? Thank you. Today was a chance for one last farewell, not just to an aeroplane. How many lost their lives? Megan knows she may never see the likes again. Goodbye, my dear. Will any of us? Peter Smith, News at 10, Dumfries. Well, God bless her, really.